So the vine house has now been converted into the Christmas lights, into a kind of nice outdoor, out of the weather sitting location. I have these hurricane lights that I got on sale a couple of years ago. And there's this table and the kerosene heater is at the back. That's only on at night when the, um, when it's really, really, really bitterly cold. So this is where we sit, or me and the guests sit, to be COVID secure. Here's all the geraniums have come in from outside. Here's some agapantha that's from outside. Here's my poinsettia, which is doing tiny little red leaves. So we almost got a second year out of it. And this shelving unit here, oh look, everybody wants to come in. They're waiting outside the door. See, there's the lovely arch door. One day I'll be able to afford a door that can go there. This is a sculpture I got when I was in Southeast Asia. It was a gift. So I'm using an old chimney pot to hold up the, um, to hold the bamboos all together. But this shelving unit is constructed, these, it has some plants and these are my sweet peas which are all coming up beautifully. I've pinched a lot of them out. You can see I've pinched there the second stay of leaves. So hopefully they'll be doing okay. So there's a, oh, see, there's some more. Those are not pinched out yet, but I will be pinching those out later on. But these timbers are recycled. Our local co-op, it's, um, these were being held used to hold uh, stacks of fencing uh, stakes together. And I've used them, I've painted them black. These timbers, all this timber is recycled timber that I've used from the local co-op or other places. So all of these timbers are recycled timbers. And these shelves, I'm still, I'm still a few short to fill this out, but hopefully they will occur soon. Look at this. You're very determined. You're very determined to come in, aren't you? You're going to make a hole in my very delicate plastic door. See, I've got to make something to block the draft coming in from the bottom. We have a draft at the top for obvious reasons, because this it's this kind of um, plastic, which is what I could afford. I couldn't afford the glass so that the air comes in from here. But that's good because it goes up and around and recycles. So with the warm air, so it actually makes the air circulate in here, which is really, really good. But yeah, so this is a reused timber that was all going to be thrown out by the local co-op and um, other locations, other recycled timber. But I'm very pleased with how this is turning out. So we only need, I have three more. One, two, three, two of which will fit there, one more there. So then I'm missing three. I only have three left to fill out that, uh, that my lovely shelves for shelving unit for the vine house. So I've been, that has taken about a year of picking up timbers uh, to create that. So always trying to recycle everything, but Otherwise, the plants are looking really good that are in here. And it's lovely in here uh, in the dark. We have, um, we have that for heating, but we also have rugs on us uh, for heating. And yeah, so we sit. So if I sit here, I'll sit in this chair here. And we can look out there. Oh, hello you, yes. <laughs> Um, so we sit out and look at the garden, except in the dark, you don't see very much. But with all the lights, it looks gorgeous at night. So you've kind of seen it sort of at night, what it looks like. But it's lovely with the um, those hurricane lamps. They're not hurricane lamps, but you know what I mean. These candles, by the way, are from our local candlestick maker. We're one of the few villages in Ireland that actually does have a butcher, a baker, and a candlestick maker. So he makes these fantastic, he's called Moth to the Flame. You can see this candle here. 
there, that's his logo, Moth to a Flame. And um, they add a little of ambient heat as well. So that's, um, this is my COVID secure outdoor meeting with people over this winter. And so far it's been hugely successful and everybody has enjoyed themselves, as have I. And I'm so pleased with some of these things that I've had for years are flowering beautifully in here. And this geranium, there's another one, um, the parent of this, this is a cutting. I've got to bring some more of them inside. But yeah, no, it's looking good. I'm very pleased with how the Vine House has evolved and it's thank you YouTube viewers. It's fantastic that this has occurred due to you guys viewing my videos. And sadly, the squirrels, the bloody gray squirrels, have dug up and eaten most of my tulips. So it's only going to be wallflowers in this bed in the spring and grape hyacinths. So I'm very sad and cross, furious at what the gray squirrels have done. Isn't that right, pup? Yeah. You just haven't been watching out for gray squirrels and attacking them when they want to dig up my beautiful bulbs. No, you've not been busy. Oh, and this is an old-fashioned radiator system. Black bins with loads of water in them absorb the heat, and then during the cold of the night, they release the heat, which is why they're closest to the door and the most draft. So this is an old-fashioned heating system which I can use most of the time. And it's only on really bitter nights when I use the kerosene heater. So that gives you an idea of some of the recycling and um, passive heating system that we have here um, in the vine house. So I'm very pleased with my sweet peas.